Welcome everybody, this is video number 86. This is going to be about Earth's rotation and we're going to have a guest uh, star with us. It's going to be our very own team's Mrs. Marafa. Hi so everyone. Welcome. Hello, hello. So uh, let's start off with what is motion in the solar system. So we are talking about planets, hello, moons, asteroids, and comets. And do you want to tell them what's the two kinds of motion that those can do? The two kinds of motions would be rotation and revolution. Yep. Yeah. And so there's a difference between those two, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Okay. So the Earth has movement, right? We have movement, and mm -hmm. that causes our day and night. And then we also have revolution. So the best part I tell everybody for rotation is like if you turn around once yourself, okay. that's rotation. And if you revolve around something, you actually should get up and walk around something. That's, well, a good, that's a good, good way idea. to remember that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you want to read this one to them? Sure. Okay. For orbit, mm -hmm. um, the path an object travels around a star. Yep. So if you wanted a definition, that would be your definition. There. Perfect. Mm -hmm. A star equals the sun. That's right. So that's our only star that we have closest to us. Absolutely. Lines drawn in. Mm -hmm. So that's these white parts that you guys are seeing down here. Those are the orbit paths, and you've probably seen pictures of those before. Like a lot of people like to draw those in with yep. pictures. Yep. So what they're really drawing in there is the orbit, is okay. that path. So that's what that means. Nice. The objects include planets, mm -hmm. moons, mm -hmm. satellites, and mm -hmm. spacecraft. Right. And we had talked about in our previous video, I don't know if you know, but a moon is what's called a natural satellite because it revolves around us. Okay. Right? And then we revolve around the sun. Right. Um, or you can have an artificial satellite like the ones that give our phones the ability to work or GPS or things like that. Okay. Um, and then a spacecraft will actually have an orbit as well. So when we watched the Apollo movie, yep. they had an orbit. Do you remember? Yes. that It was kind of like a figure eight kind of a thing. Yep. So that was the orbit that they took. Perfect. All right. Do you want me to do this one? Sure. Okay. So let's talk about what an ellipse is. So ellipse is kind of like a math term, right? Mm -hmm. It's a math term. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the shape that um, planets orbit, and it's not a circle. I think it looks like a circle that yes. went <laughs> like that, that squished well, like it. like an oval. Yeah, like if you flattened it out. <laughs> right. So when you were talking about an orbit, a lot of people like to think of it as a circle, but it's really an ellipse. Okay. Okay? Yep. So, you want to talk about this one? Sure. But the Earth's rotation is the spinning of the Earth on its axis. So, there's your definition right there. Love it. Yep. Um, and the result is, obviously, it causes day and night. Yep. Very good. So, if you needed to know um, what rotation causes, and this is going to be different for other planets, too, and for other moons as well, um, is that it causes days and nights here. And that time link's going to change. Okay. So let's talk about the axis. So there is no real line that goes between the Earth. So if you're out in outer space, you're not going to see that yeah, line. See Although if you are talking anything in astronomy, you will find astronomers always tend to draw lines through their Earth, and you can see that the Earth is kind of tilted mm -hmm. there. And what they're trying to show you is this line goes through north and south, and it's a way to sort of orient yourself because out in space, everything can kind of be willy-nilly. Okay. And this is a way to show, okay, we're at this point at this particular time. Okay. All right. You want to do this one? Sure. For the Earth's rotation, mm -hmm. it takes one day, yep. which is 24 hours, Yep. and this again causes night and day. Yep, and that's what this diagram is showing you guys here if you're taking a look down here. So it's showing you when it's night, night time, and when it's daytime, and it's just showing you the difference between the two. Because we're all about astronomy, we're all about diagrams. Yes. That's what I tell them. Astronomy is just pictures. It's just pictures. That's all. <laughs> so, listen, you want to read this one? These are really cool ones. So, sure. I picked out like fun ones for rotation times. Okay. Okay. The shortest planet rotation is Saturn. Mm -hmm. It's 10.7 hours. Can you imagine that? I mean, a 10.7 hour day? No. Like, that's like, that's, it. that's done. done. Yeah. yeah. We'd have like two days in one day. Right? Oh. Yeah, cool. The longest rotation is Venus, and that's 243 days. Yeah. Wow. Like, woo, doggy, that's like uh, one long day. <laughs> and the weirdest yep. rotation. Let's we'll see if you say it, Uranus. Is Uranus. Yes. And that's because, and that's, yeah, it's tipped. It's I tell the kids it's like going head over tea kettle. It's tipped. So I don't get how yeah. it's minus 17.20. Because instead hours. of doing this, it's going it goes backwards. head over tea kettle. Okay. Yeah, because somebody came over and knocked it on its side. Oh. Yeah. Do we planet. know what, what knocked it on? Yeah, it was like a planet type thing when the solar system was being formed. Yep, it was really big, so big that it knocked it off its orbit on the side. Wow. All right, summary time. So thank you to Mrs. Marafa for helping us with that. I'd like you to define rotation. Make sure you can describe the results of rotation. Uh, create a diagram of it so that you can kind of put all three of those in the same thing if you wish. And draw or find a diagram of the Earth with an axis line through it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.